Yeah, I'm watching this video. Matrix 4, The Last Simulation by Matrix Explained. He said just a moment ago in, in his video something about who would win between Darth Vader and Neo. That's a horribly tilted question in my perception of things. Mostly because it, it depends on a various number of things. I mean, do you take Neo out of uh, the Matrix uh, bubble of reality and place him into the Star Wars bubble of reality? Or do you take Darth Vader and transpose him from his bubble of reality into the Matrix? It's horribly pointed for me. Horribly conditional. I mean, are, are you going to rewrite Darth Vader's entire uh, history? How he grew up and everything? Is he going to be in the, the Matrix and be one of the fellas going around with fucking Matrix powers? Or does he take his Force abilities and lightsaber skills and whatnot with him? Does Neo do the same when he, if... He transposes into the Star Wars bubble of existence. It's horribly pointed. Or do we do what all the other nerds do and transpose them both into a neutral plane with both of their abilities? And we just say through trans-dimensional magic of sorts, Neo is able to use all of his abilities as if he were in the Matrix in a fight, or sparring match, with or against Darth Vader, having all of his abilities space magically transposed from his bubble of existence into a neutral realm for them to do sparring and or combat. Do we give Neo a lightsaber? Do we take away Darth Vader's lightsaber? What are the conditions here? Do I fabricate my own set of conditions? It's a horribly pointed question. Honestly, I have no idea how to approach answering that question. It's horribly pointed and horribly tilted no matter what way you look at it. Well, from those initial questions I asked, Hmm. But it is something to think about, and I do enjoy the puzzle. Nah. Um. Also, there's other points to question. Do we take Darth Vader? From before he killed Emperor Palpatine? Or after? Do we take him from after his redemption and he became a force ghost? And give him a new body as Anakin or Vader? Does he keep all of his mechanical limbs or does he get flesh and blood limbs? Similar questions with Neo. Does his implants get removed or do they stay? Is he in any bubble of reality that, of the three I mentioned? Is he going to have those implants or not? Do they do battle in the real world in the Matrix bubble of reality? Do they do battle in the Matrix within the Matrix bubble of reality? What gives? At what point in Neo's life do we take him from? Do we take him from Matrix 1, 2, 3, or the fourth one that's about to come out? <coughs> Do we give Neo um, a program uploaded into his 
mind that gives him knowledge of how to use the force and how to use lightsabers and whatnot. So he can do an actual force and lightsaber combat with Darth Vader. What the fuck gives? Where's the where's the intel on the, the scenario here? There's a number of other questions that could be asked. But maybe Matrix Explained should have made that a standalone video with parameters that outline just what exactly is going to go on. Because having some person at random say, oh, this guy would win because of these reasons that I made up in my mind, you've given nothing else to work with. So you're opening it up to a can of worms known as everyone's personal interpolation. On top of that, the entire contest that he's got going on is going to be colored by his own personal predilections and biases. There's there's no rules outlined in, in what was said in that drawing or contest of sorts. It's all left to extrapolation. So anyway, well the way my mind works and how random my thought patterns are. Do they do battle on the bridge of one of those ships? Or in the engine room? Or do we just throw them into the middle of the Mojave and let them go at it? No weapons, no powers, just fist and fist. Or do we throw them into a well air conditioned and ventilated room with plenty of space and just say, have at it? What the fuck do we do? <laughs> what, what are the parameters? What setup? What point in their lives do we take them from? With what information do we give them? What tools? What weapons? What. Hell, we could even have them do a chess match. At that point, I would say it would be a stalemate. Because Neo could just jack in to the construct and download literally every variation, every conceivable outcome and situation, every move for every variation of chess. And just download it and know it. And Darth Vader could just read his fucking mind through the Force and they would be infinitely stalemated until one of them gave up. Or they both decided, fuck it, we're done, and went out and got a coffee or something else. Or a drink at the bar. Who the fuck knows? So what type of conflict is it? Nobody knows. Eh, maybe at the end of his video he'll outline some more details and parameters for it. I doubt it. It seems that that thing he said was thrown in just, oh, offhandedly, here, I'm doing this thing. Have fun with it. Personally, I would say neither of them would win at chess because it would be an infinite stalemate until they both decided, fuck this, let's go have some fun. With some other thing. Well, that's just me. Hang the sense of it. Fuck this, we're out. They'd give up and quit, both of them. Well, fuck it, that's it.